Trump, physical therapist. Brad Eidick, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion. In our opinion. Uh, if you haven't done so already, we want to make sure you subscribe to our, uh, our YouTube site. Uh, because uh, we are watching it right now, I'm assuming, uh, because we're going to be doing videos uh, on fitness and, and health for those who are 40, 50 years old and older. So that's kind of our niche. Uh, we're, we've worked with the elderly for a long time. Uh, Not that you're elderly, elderly if you're 40 or 50. No, years. as you're getting older, uh, maturing gracefully. Sure. And maintain yourself. Okay, let's go on with what we're talking about. We're going to talk about knee posture. I, and, you know, you always hear about back and neck posture and, and how important that is. But I've had a lot of patients, uh, believe it or not, that actually were having knee pain because of how they were maintaining their knee posture during the day. And the main thing, problem area that they were running into is they were locking their knees. I had one kid that worked for Subway and he'd just stand there. He was kind of an overweight kid and his ligaments were a little bit lax. Uh, I don't know if you know what that means, Brad. Well, they're, loose, yeah. <laughs> they're loose. Loose. And, and the way you can tell that if you've got loose ligaments is actually you just take your wrist and, and push on it like this. And if you can take your fingers and touch your, uh, your forearm there, you've got loose ligaments. That's, a lot of people call it double jointed. Sure. Right. That's not a good thing, actually. It, it, it's, not, it, it's a bad thing because your joints aren't protected. They're not uh, keeping your joints stable. If you're loose here, you're probably loose in your knee, and you're going to be one of those people that start uh, back kneeing or, or uh, getting your knees stretched out too far. Hyperextending your Hyper knee. your knee. So let me just show you real quickly what the wrong posture is when you're standing. I hope you'll be able to see this, Brad. Oh, God. The women are looking at huh? So right. what you want to do is have a slight, slight knee bend when you're standing. What you don't want to do, and this is a lot of people do this, is they stand with their knees straight locked. Straight back, right back. Yep. And, and the and more some people that are naturally hypermobile, actually have hyperextended knees, yep. they're, they're more at risk. If your knees go backwards and you're one of those real flex, lax people in their knees, you're more at risk if you stand. Well, believe it or not, Brad, I used to stand this way before I started physical therapy school, and they picked it out in physical therapy school. And I was getting to the point, I was stretching out, I mean, I, would, I could go way back. And just by the fact that I stopped doing it, it's tightened up a little bit. Sure. Mm -hmm. But this, what this does, and now we'll refer to the diagram. The diagram's in the same position as my knee is. So here's the kneecap, here's the back of the knee. All right, if we go to this diagram, here's the kneecap, here's the back of the knee. What is happening here is you're stretching the structures out on the back. What do we got here, Bob? Let's be a little more deep. This is the upper thigh bone. The femur, the femur, and this is the tibia or the lower bone, okay? The two bones that make the joint. And the, the joint, joint space. Yep, this is the knee joint. And what you're getting when you have this position where you're hyperextending or staying with the knee lock, you're actually getting too much stress in the front here. And, and it, you're squishing down on the bone and the cartridge, cartilage, not cartridge, <laughs> cartilage. And, and you're getting excessive pressure. And this is where we, people were getting pain when I was seeing them. And all we had them do, besides a couple other things that I'm trying to get the inflammation calm down, we just had them to stand with their knees slightly flexed, and that spreads the forces out. And now instead of seeing, seeing this big gap here, now it's kind of even all along here. The forces are even all the way along the knee. And, and that spreads it out, and, and they stopped having knee pain. So very important. The other thing you want to do, in a word, you can you stand up for a second, Brad, get out of the way? <laughs> oh, uh, the other thing you don't want to do, and I tell my kids this all the time, you do not want to sit in a chair with your foot up on another chair like this with nothing support below the knees. You're actually up stretching that back of that knee, and that's promoting that type of posture. And I, again, I had two kids that were, that were kind of prone to this, and so that they always remind me now, Dad, don't put your foot up on another <laughs> uh, You can put a pillow underneath there or something just to keep it slightly flexed. Right, want to put your knee up again there, Bob. What are you going to do? Well, I just want to clarify. So at this point, you know, here, the joint is gapping back here, stretching the tissues here, and pushing the joint together there. Yeah. And that, those compressive forces are, are going to increase your risk for uh, DJD, in other words, arthritis, yeah. uh, leading to an early knee replacement. And the same with this. Yeah. So... Keep your, keep your knee posture.